questions you can ask me. What kind of questions should I ask you? I don't know. Are you recording me right now? Nope. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm um, 27. A little bit about myself. I am 27. I have two kids. I'm a firefighter, EMT. I work a full time job as a diesel mechanic. I am the chief operations officer. What does that mean? <laughs> so, I keep the business running on a day-to-day -day basis and keep all the employees in line. Apparently, I'm Bob the Builder. <laughs> What's Sarah's job at the company? My wife is in charge of all the money, payroll, the bills, all the fun stuff. How is she doing with that job? Terrible. My wife is doing terrible at that job. What's Melissa's job? Melissa is HR, whether she likes it or not. She's in charge of hiring and firing and training. Ready for the next one? I guess. And remember this is for YouTube, not for any feelings, so go for it. What's well, my job at the company? <sighs> Jeff's job. Oh God. Jeff's job is to see the future of the company and keep us moving forward, even though sometimes I can't keep up with Jeff. And none of us can keep up with Jeff. Jeff's plans outrun the money. You recorded all that. The person who oversees our menu would be my wife uh, and Jeff. They both kind of work side to side. Jeff is the one who posts all the menus and stuff online and puts the prices online, but Sarah is the one who does the, as far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, she's the one that does the research for the, how much it costs to make each food item and what the price should be. I don't know if I liked all those answers. <laughs> they needed to be scripted. <laughs> How did you get started in the restaurant business? I got started in the restaurant business on a whim, to be honest. I had no expectation to ever buy a restaurant. Uh, here we are. I came to see the restaurant after Jeff called me and I thought, what the heck are we doing? The restaurant was disgusting. It was filthy. <laughs> the restaurant was in desperate need of repairs. <laughs> and updating. There's no online ordering. No updated pricing. I became the owner of Victory Lane Pizza while I was hunting deer <laughs> in the woods. Uh, we had been looking for an opportunity to start a business and I ran a lawn care company for a few years and it just wasn't working out so then we gave up on that and then one day Jeff calls me while I'm sitting in a deer stand and says, you're going to hate me but we're going to buy a pizza restaurant. Is that the right words? It's your words. So tell me more about this lawn care company. Um, How did it start? Well, we sat in the bar one night and I did not know how to start an LLC. So I had Jeff help me start an LLC. So he was 50-50 with me. And... 51-49. 51-49. And uh, so we started a lawn care company because at the time it was the easiest thing in my mind to do because that's what I already did. And... Come to find out, I just didn't have time for it, which I don't have time for the pizza right now, but you know, hey, why not? What's been the biggest challenge of having a pizza restaurant? Um, time. Time. Time to do anything and everything. Time. The biggest challenge of owning a pizza restaurant is having the time to manage employees and keep things running from day to day while holding a full-time job.
and having kids. I don't feel like we've made any mistakes so far. I feel like it's all been lessons learned. What lessons have you learned? I've learned to be more cautious with money, be more careful who I hire, cook chicken and eat plate. The work-life balance is very hard. Uh, luckily, I'm able to share a lot of the load with my wife so she can watch the kids while I work on things and I can watch the kids when she needs to work on things. I also have a babysitter during the day, which allows her to get a lot of her work done. Uh, so my background has helped me run this restaurant by being able to repair things mechanically without having to pay somebody to do a lot of the repairs and to, to build things and make things work without having to hire people to do it, which saves money. The advice I would give to somebody looking to buy and own a restaurant is to have a solid plan do the research on all the prices and the costs that it takes to make the food and think about the people that you're going to have to hire to run it. What's your favorite pizza? Oh, my favorite pizza is the one we just came up with, which is the pickle pizza. We released it at a pickle fest and it turned out that it was so, by, or so well received that we actually put it on as our pizza of the month as our store. An interesting story I've had happened while owning a restaurant businesses when we fired a manager and that manager attempted to portray our restaurant in a bad light and it actually ended up working the opposite direction and helped us gain business. I'm excited about the new restaurant that we are opening at our new location that will serve ice cream and alcohol. Teamwork. I think a key concept in creating a successful restaurant business is teamwork. Um, in our situation, we have four partners and we need to be able to communicate clearly and make decisions that are beneficial to the business. I'm Builder of the Bob. <laughs> Am I wearing anything that says FDIC? Anyway. God, my so head is like right in the middle of the screen. What's your story? You're not even recording. Hey. You are? What's your story? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What have you done, YouTube boys? Yeah. <laughs> If you like this content and want to see more, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.